What's going on guys? Thumbs here. What's going on guys? Miss Thumbs here. And I'm going to show you how to make a cauliflower pizza. Got some bacon, turkey bacon, which is good. Healthy, healthy. And we're going to have some olives. And we're going to have some mushrooms. Mushrooms. Pepperoni. Have some um, bell peppers. An onion. You got to have a grater, which is this little gadget here. It's to... Yeah. Cut the cauliflower in half. You gotta grate it like this. This is what we got. Cauliflower into the mixing bowl. And then what you do is you take two eggs. You take some Parmesan cheese. And then you take, I always take some garlic powder. And some pepper. And don't forget, cheese. Cheese is awesome. So you take your spoon and you whip it up. Um, guys, I had to add one more egg. I guess it depends on the your egg size. It's either small, I think it was small, medium, large. I had I usually use large, but only had medium. So I had to do three eggs with one head of cauliflower, and it should be moist, so it'll be stacky. Take it and you dip it on here. Cut it down till it's not too thick. That's what she said. <laughs> it probably won't be a complete circle. Close enough. Alright. And you take your pan. Your oven should be set to 350. Take your pan of cauliflower crust and put it in the oven for about say about 10 minutes. While the crust is cooking in the oven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop some peppers and some onions. I'm going to take these mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers and I put them in this pan so we can saute them a little bit. Put it on high or until it starts sizzling or sauteing and then you cut it down to um, medium. We're also going to add some bacon. We're going to chop this up. Come on up. Also going to add it to the onions and peppers and mushrooms. Listen to that sizzle. Num num. Then I always, like I say, add garlic powder. Pepper. You let this simmer and that cook. And then we'll add the topping. This is the finished product of the onions and bell peppers and mushrooms and bacon. It took about 20 minutes. We're fixing to get the crust, cauliflower crust, out of the oven. You gotta touch it and make it make sure it's firm. We use ragu pizza sauce. 
You put it on top. Like I say, it's your whatever. If you like a lot of sauce or a little bit of sauce or you spread it around. It's like you do regular homemade pizza. And then you take your pepperoni. Go around with it. Here, there, everywhere. If you like a little bit of pepperoni, a lot of pepperoni, if you're a meat lover, it's all up to you. Take our olives, black olives, green olives, and spread them around. All right. Then you take your mixture of bacon and onions and mushrooms. Give it on. Spread it around. Smells delicious. And take your cheese, which is the best part of the whole thing. And spread it around. Parmesan cheese. Bring it back. And then you put it back in the oven for about, I guess, 10 minutes again. Just make sure your cheese is all melted and it's sizzling. It's been about 10 minutes. Make sure that all the cheese is melted and it's all bubbly. A nice brown texture. So it takes a good about 45 minutes to how to prep all of it and Put it all together. Ingredients is the uh, cauliflower. It depends on how big the head is. Grate it. You have to see how much eggs you need. You gotta make sure it's moist and it'll pack pretty good. Uh, and the other stuff's just your choice. If you like onions, peppers, if you don't, you can add green olives. You can add, you can add tomatoes. If you like pineapples. Some people like pineapples. Okay guys, we're gonna cut it. Cut it like a normal pizza. Take it and get a piece of it. And put it on a plate. Should be all the good stuff. More fix and enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Do